I'm going to give one of my viewers this little gold coin. Keep watching to learn how. T. Hello, silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver and gold education, acquisition, and entertainment. Hey, speaking of acquisition, somebody is going to win this just by watching this video right here. Hey, it's been my habit of rewarding you, the viewer, for watching my promotional videos. And today's video is all about a company called Gold Royalty. It's going to be educational. I am interviewing David Garofalo. He is a big name in the world of gold investing, and he's got a lot to talk to you about. It's going to be a very entertaining video to boot. It'll be lots of graphs and information. All you have to do is watch this video, stick around to the end, and I'll give you instructions on how you can win this little coin. I'd be happy to put it in the mail for one of you. Mr. David Garofalo, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Thank you for having me on. Hey, uh, we're going to hit the ground running here. I've got a whole uh, list of questions for you. You know, I, uh, you and I have spoken before, and I've got uh, some great loyal uh, uh, viewers, but uh, my channel's growing, and I've got uh, new viewers week by week. More folks are uh, you know, coming on board that, that might not know what a royalty corp is. Can you give us a, kind of in a nutshell? Yeah, absolutely. What we do is provide capital to the producers, developers, and explorers and what we take back in return is a royalty on their properties. So in other words, we get a fixed percentage of their revenue. That means that we get top line exposure. We're really not worried about cost structures at the mine, margins of the mine, because we're really not exposed to that end of the business. So really, as I said, it provides you optimum leverage to the gold price, exposure to the gold price without exposing you to cost inflation that the producers and developers and explorers are facing in this very highly inflationary environment that we find ourselves in in the general economy. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, gold miners out there. Uh, you, you know, have having a royalty corp. It seems like you have the uh, great opportunity to kind of cherry pick the best. Well, that's right. In this environment, where it's very difficult for the explorers and and developers in particular to raise capital in this very challenging equity environment. We're able to provide them much more cost-effective capital than they could otherwise raise themselves in the equity markets and get a royalty back in return. And what that offers our shareholders is, again, upside to the gold price, upside to expiration, while insulating them from cost inflation that the producers and developers and uh, explorers are ultimately exposed to. Now, you've been in the industry quite some time, and you're very well respected uh, in, in the industry. Uh, but for the again, for those new viewers, can you tell them a little bit about yourself and your your basically your lifetime devoted to the mission of getting gold out of the ground? Yeah, I've spent 32 years developing and operating mines. Uh, most recently, I was the CEO of Gold Corp uh, before it was merged with Newmont to create the world's biggest gold company by production and market cap back in 2019. Uh, and before that, I was the CEO of Hud Bay Minerals, uh, which is a big copper producer based out of Toronto. And before that, I was the CFO of an Eco Eagle Mines uh, for 12 years. So 32 years devoted to the development and operation of mines. I've been involved in the construction of 15 mines in my career and, and uh, I've stewarded uh, countless more operations. So I've worked in a large cap environment. But at this point in my career, I again positioned myself into the royalty business because while I believe in gold and its ability to you know, increase in price in this inflationary environment, I'm very concerned about the impact that inflation will have on the cost structures of the mine operators. So I think the best place to get exposure to gold, exposure to its upside, exposure to expiration success is in the royalty business where you get that top line exposure while insulating yourself from cost inflation that everybody's experiencing in the general economy currently. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned the price of gold and, uh, you know, I've got some years ahead of me to continue to accumulate the physical in my stack. Uh, and so I don't mind uh, the price being sub $1,700 right now because I'm in accumulation phase. But are you personally surprised it's not higher at this point in time? Well, certainly I can understand the disappointment that investors are feeling. But the reality is at the onset of uh, an interest rate hike cycle that we're experiencing right now, gold takes some time to accelerate. But what I would tell you is why nominal interest rates are going up, 
we're seeing real interest rates continue to go down because inflation is accelerating. Typically, in that environment, when interest rates are going down on a real basis, gold goes up 350 to 400 percent based on what we've seen in past interest rate cycles. So we're a long way from what I would say is peak gold prices. I would say the $3,000 an ounce is attainable within the next year and really is a floor for where gold should be. When you look at gold's all-time peak back in the early 1980s and inflation adjusts that to $2022. So $3,000 an ounce to me is just the start of where I think gold is going to go. And we're in an unprecedented inflationary cycle. Unprecedented in that debt levels are at highs that we've never seen before as a percentage of GDP. Uh, global debt is 350% of global GDP right now. Mm-hmm. Back in the 1970s, when we last had a big inflation cycle, it was only 100%. What that means is that the central banks have very limited uh, flexibility to raise interest rates dramatically without bankrupting governments. And so I think what they'll try to do is inflate their way out of debt. In other words, at some point, you're going to see the Federal Reserve pivot and talk about more accommodative monetary policy, lower interest rates more printing of money because the only practical way for them to deal with the amount of government debt strapped on is to play it away. Mm-hmm. Well, as you know, I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but I am an investor in uh, G. Roy. Uh, tell the uh, the folks who are watching, uh, you know, Gold Royalty Corp, what is the potential upside? What can you see happening in, in the months and years to come? Well, in a very short period of time since our IPO in March of 2021, we've grown from 18 royalties in our portfolio to over 200, exclusively focused in the Americas, with 80% of our royalty portfolio in the three best mining jurisdictions in the world, Nevada, Quebec, and Ontario. And we have royalties in the three biggest producing gold mines in North America, uh, Canadian Malartic in Quebec, uh, Cote in Ontario, which actually starts up production in 2024, and also on the underground extension of Gold Strike uh, in Nevada, which is operated by Barrick and Newmont. So we have royalties in each and, uh, and every one of those properties. So it's not just about the quantity of our portfolio, which is well diversified and significant, but we have royalties on the three biggest producing gold mines in North America with the longest lives. So we have that foundational element of our story that's going to be generating cash flow for many, many generations to come. In fact, 10 months after our IPO, we introduced a dividend. We pay a 1.5% yield on our stock currently. And given the revenue growth, which we're expecting to be about 60% compounded annual growth per year over the next 10 years. And the other thing I should add is we bought and paid for all of our 200 plus royalties. We don't have to put another dime into them. In fact, our operating partners this year are investing $200 million in exploration on those properties where we contribute nothing and we get all of the exploration upside that comes with the success they're likely to achieve on their exploration programs. That's a heck of a model. Uh, I am going to uh, drop some names here and, and uh, the names I'm going to drop aren't millionaires. They are billionaires. Eric Sprott, Rob McEwen, uh, Jamie Lee, uh, Amir Adnani. Uh, these guys all are shareholders uh, what does that mean to the little guy like me and the folks watching uh my channel do what they do <laughs> well, well i think i think each and every one of those individuals would like this you know if they were here would be speaking to the upside in the gold price mm-hmm. and the superiority of the royalty model in terms of uh, optimizing uh the upside the participation in the upside in the gold price Again, because they get the expiration upside, they get the gold price upside with full protection from the downside that inflation represents to the producers and operators. It's, it's a much more difficult environment for them. And historically, royalty companies have significantly outperformed both the commodity and the producers in the space, um, not only in the upside in the sector, but in the downside because of the insulation that our business model provides to cost inflation. Now, the, the price target uh, for G. Roy is around the $8.50 mark. Uh, what are your uh, next big moves? Uh, what do you think is going to take uh, to achieve that? And uh, tell me about how you're going to get there. Well, you know, we don't need to do anything else other than harvest what we've already accumulated over the last year and a half with over 200 royalties. We have eight in production, another 21 in various stages of construction and development. And that underpins that 60% compounded annual growth in revenue that we're forecasting over the next five to 10 years. 
So it's just harvesting those returns over time. But over and above that, as I said, our operating partners are investing $200 million in exploration on the portfolio of properties that we have royalties on. That's 700,000 meters of exploration drilling. That's a lot of exploration catalyst news that we expect over the course of the next year that our shareholders will benefit from. Well, I uh, certainly appreciate you sharing this uh, information with me and my viewers. Uh, be, uh, before we say goodbye, or is there anything else that we didn't touch on that you think uh, my viewers ought to hear? No, th th this is excellent. I would say, um, you know, hold the faith on the gold price. I really do believe we're in an environment where interest rates on a real basis will continue to decline given the inflationary environment we find ourselves in. It's been uh, 12 years of excess uh, on the monetary policy side with uh, significant printing of money, low interest rates, and we're experiencing the consequences of that excess and high inflation. That means lower and lower real interest rates, which will drive the gold price up. And the best place to participate in that upside is in the gold equity space, and in particular, Gold Royalty Corp, GRI on the NYC, American GROY. Fantastic. Well, hey, thank you so much for the time. And I'm uh, already looking forward to our next conversation. Thank you. Hey, I wasn't kidding when I told you that Mr. Garofalo really knows his stuff, not only about gold royalty, which uh, again, seems like a company that you'll want to learn more about and uh, do your due diligence. Uh, uh, once again, I am not a financial advisor. I'm providing information for you to make your own decisions. But I'll tell you what, this one certainly is intriguing. Now, back to this little gold coin that I was mentioning. Here's what you need to do. Number one, you need to be a subscriber. Easy enough. Number two, leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate that. Like this video. That's number three. And finally, number four is real simple. Just keep watching my video. So by this time next week, I will be releasing a video showing who is the winner of this little gold coin? It'll be done by random comment picker. So be sure to do those four things I just mentioned. And thank you so much for watching. Hey, don't forget, when you guys watch these paid programming videos, I feel compelled to reward you. And here's your reward. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.